this as equation 1 and we have this as equation 2. The coefficient of x in equation 1 is 2 and the coefficient of x in equation 2 is 4. They are different. The coefficient of y in equation 1 is 1 and the coefficient of y in equation 2 is also 1. Remember, when it is 1, we don't usually write it. Since the coefficient of y are the same, hence, I can eliminate one of them. However, I'm not going to use a minus because one of the y here is having a minus. Let me just make this mistake of using this minus. We're going to have that 2 minus 4 will give you minus 2x, y, which is plus y, minus, then there is a minus here, y. And you're going to have that y minus times minus is plus y. y plus y will give you 2y. Here I'm going to have plus 2y. On the other side, 8 minus 4 will give you 4. You can see that we still have two unknown variables which have defeated the purpose of elimination method. Hence, instead of minus, we are going to use a plus. Now, let's solve this correctly. 2 plus 4 will give you 6x. y plus minus y. y plus minus y will give you y minus y which is zero so here we have zero on the other side eight plus four will give you 12 and here we're going to have that 6x is 12 x is now 12 divided by 6 and our x is 2 so we have obtained the value for x next to find y we are going to substitute that x equal to 2 into either equation 1 or equation 2. Well, let me choose 1 or equation 2. Well, let me choose from equation 2. We are going to have that 2x plus y is 8. 2, our x is 2 plus y is 8. Here, we now have that 4 plus y is 8. y is 8 minus 4. And you can see that y is now 4. You can see that using elimination method is simple. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.